The final act of match week 15 takes the stage in Winnipeg, Manitoba. IG Field the sights for Valor and York United. The 65th match of the CPL regular season that pits two sides on the outside of the playoff picture looking up to the teams. Dodo Santos makes three changes today to Simake, Iskander Mizugi, and Anthony Novak all draw in to this 4-2-3-1. Martin Nash, he makes three changes to his team as well. Austin Ricci is in today at the left wing and at the right wing making a first CPL start is Trevina Spree. The third and final change is Jonathan Grant, who is into the right back position. Um, those are the things you're talking about when you question the, this, this team's playoff credentials. It's not quality, it's, it's character, it's focus, it's obviously injury issues, consistency, like all of those kind of intangibles that have been a bit missing, I think, over the past two or three years. Grant, Grant looking bad, ricochets around, and I believe that's off of Austin Ricci. That is his first goal of the CPL this season. Could not have come at a better time from the service from Jonathan Grant, who returns from a quad injury and sets up the opening goal of this match with his first points as a member of York United. And the usually raucous trench is stunned and silent. Picaro in his third season with Valor. Over 1,100 minutes and 13 appearances. Into the mixer, Polisi with a head of steam. Couldn't get clean contact, but definitely a tense moment for the York center back duo. And now Spree, excuse me, Di Rosario down the right wing. Osase Di Rosario has made it two. Osase Di Rosario with his third goal of the season. And has gone from bad to absolute nightmare for Valor. Two goals less than 10 minutes in. Phil Dos Santos can hardly believe it. Said it's the final act of the match week. Well, act one is a tragedy. Young <laughs> Barry sheds Jonathan Grant outside of his foot. with a perfect pass and young to Barry Ali puts his dancing shoes on. I, I think he probably could have been forgiven for thinking this might be a low scoring game. <laughs> and Rosie Oloa. He <laughs> check for Keen Williams and makes a nice run to the near post. <laughs> Sunday Funday is right. <laughs> no kidding. Zugi. This bit of second effort play. Now Andrew Jean Baptiste, though, he's absolutely lining this up. Absolute rocket from the battle captain, and that forces a stop out of Giantsopolis. Novak does so well just to guide and take the angle right now. Oh, shot again. Looking top right bin. This time it's Marcello Polisi. Sit up for Novak, goes across the face of Gore Williams, bottles it. It's a big chance for Williams. Glancing off the arm of Cella glued to his body. Grant, clever. Ricci around the corner, still Ricci, Austin Ricci. Massive stop by Ryan Yesley. Valor needs to come out for the second half if that's a third goal. Polisi. Vaccaro. Andy Vaccaro. Finds Uloa. His cross finds Williams. That's the exact man he won on the ball in that spot. It's the best action from Uloa of the match. He was a bit shaky in the first. Should be a goal. Williams will know it. This can be so for football. And he will play Cameroon for that final spot. 
Here's Williams. A touch. A shot just over the bar. Salamani nearly introduces himself to Winnipeg with an incredible moment. He will be sorely disappointed. Oh, it's not great from York United there. They just completely part in midfield. Kevin Santos on the ball. Five green shirts on the other side of the penalty mark. Yesley is tested. Kevin Santos went for goal. Good stop from the Valor keeper. Adekubi slides, was hoping to locate somebody in green, but fails to do so. Here's Jaime Siaj looking to tie Siaj. How he has managed to hook that away from Giantsopoulos is going to be one that frustrates everybody. Haynes, who's inverted, scoops that into the box. Siaj falling away from goal. That was closer than his last attempt. In the final seconds of the 90. Cella lifts it into the box. Look at the run. John Sopolis is cleaned out. Excuse me. As Neonga Perry went charging at the York United goalkeeper, who literally and figuratively put his body on the line. I don't blame him for being absolutely irate. Neonga Perry going for the ball, put his shoulder in the sternum of Giant Sopolis. What a ball. A great run as well. An important touch, and York United are going to hang on. Three goals in nine minutes and 37 seconds, and it was bunkered down and shut it down from there for York United.